Tonight I will show you a few works. Uh, there are many emails and uh, I'm 45 years old and uh, I'm working from more than 20 years now. I'm working with Galleria Continua from a long time, from 1997. And we have, uh, I have to say, we have a fantastic relationship that uh, went growing up in the time. I start from uh, um, photography uh, at the mid of the 90s. Um, I was very interested in the shift between an analogic and digital. In that time, we were talking a lot about uh, cyber culture, what's, what was the real, and you know, uh, more than me, philosophers like uh, Virilio or Baudrillard that were talking about the reality. So starting from the photography, I, I try to uh, make something of narrative. I start with uh, an exposition that I did uh, uh, five years ago in an Italian museum and uh, it was in the uh, Pecci Museum in Tuscany, it's near Florence, it's a museum for contemporary art and uh, they give me the possibility to have all the space of the museum, 15 rooms, uh, large spaces, very high, and uh, uh, here you will see a sort of walk in the museum with many kind of works, from drawings, from watercolors, to photographies, to large installations, to objects, because I'm al always been curious ab about solutions in terms of uh, technical solutions and poetry. So, uh, mainly the, 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 the works are based on image and objects, but also uh, in, in the recent times uh, about science, about nature, and what's my feeling about the bridge between something that we perceive like natural, but it's artificial in the same time. So also here, for example, you, you can see some stu studies of uh, modular pieces or uh, studies of uh, stones, minerals, because uh, for, me, uh, for me the base, the, the knowledge that science can give me uh, should be uh, translated in, in, another, in, in a sort of another vision uh, that's mainly more uh, poetical and uh, it try to transfigurate the reality. So all these pieces, in, uh, they have different language and uh, who, I, who I am, I'm, I'm a line between all those pieces. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm not so um, strictly related to a series, I need to, to, to change the works, to change, to play with the real, uh, the reality of the technological solutions also. So here you, you can see uh, sort of paintings but mainly are sculptures because the, the objects are always very important for me. The materiality, I work a lot with computers but at the real end what interesting it's in interesting to me it's coming out from the screen and go back to the to the matter um, in that sense uh, geology scents <coughs> or uh, leaves seeds i mean what we perceive like uh, nature it's always the the base for something i can arrange to another level and uh, talking uh, probably about uh, language. Uh, my passion is nature, so the last pieces are strictly related with uh, biological and uh, cellular compositions. I spend uh, a lot of time in the countryside and uh, I have to say it's uh, an important part of my life. Also with my daughters we play with seeds, we play with leaves, we play with nature in general. Uh, I have a passion for architecture in general in, in the historical term, but also in terms of modernity, in terms of contemporary solutions. 
So these organic um, compositions are probably a, a personal solution, a personal reaction to uh, the space. And uh, here you, will see, you, you see different kind of modules that uh, I draw and then are, they are producing in, uh, with uh, industrial processes. And then again, by hand, they are welded together, making forms. Um, structure, the structure is very important, the seed, the beginning is very important. But then I try always to improvise a form, to react to the space, to dance with the space. So uh, I work like a designer at the beginning, and then on site or for a sculpture, I, I, I want to, to give me the possibility to, to play with the space. Uh, this is an installation uh, in Palazzo Strozzi in Florence. It, it, it was a temporary installation for three months uh, for the Nuit Blanche in Florence. And uh, the idea was to play with the idea of the crystals. Uh, they asked me the possibility to, uh, to use the courtyard. And this courtyard is a perfect example of the Renaissance in Florence. I mean, the, the size and the, uh, the volumetry is fantastic. So my idea was to play simply with uh, five platonic forms uh, going to deflagrate them like a kaleidoscope. So changing this straight point of view of the Renaissance in probably a more contemporary approach. This is a work from 2006. It's a huge installation made with uh, 12 aluminum ladders inside and 50,000 plastic modules are not ping pong balls but it's a module that was designed for the for the cloud it's been the first experience in this direction it's been shown the first time in china and for me this uh, this kind of uh, uh, very uh, prolific number of pieces was related to uh, to china itself in terms of numbers I mean, I, I was there for one month and uh, the, 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 there were so many people around, so many. Mm. The work from, from uh, Beijing, it's been shown then in the Shanghai Bayenne, in the Palais de Tokyo here, and then in the PS1 in New York. So like a cloud, I, I, I'm being lucky because this, the, everybody was asking for this cloud at, at the time. The modules, the white bolts, are um, composed like uh, carpets, like flexible carpets. So every time I can uh, manage the, the, the shape of the cloud, uh, improvising in the space. At the beginning, it's been uh, a sort of gamble, but then you, 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 you know the, 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 you, you learn the solutions. The extruded bodies are sculptures, but very uh, relate, strictly related with uh, architecture. What it means? It means that these kind of diagrams of waves <coughs> are uh, realized in, uh, in a material, and then they are fixed to the wall. So it seems that the, the surface of the wall itself is changing. Uh, something that's related with the, um, the memory of a place, but also like a, a sort of uh, emotional point in the architecture. So at the beginning, I was using uh, objects like windows, like uh, chairs, or, I mean, um, something that comes from my biography. And then the, the most recent pieces are these waves, and uh, the collaboration on, uh, with Chomet is also based on one of these pieces. They are always monochromatic, very, they live with uh, shadows. <coughs> I think this scientific silence, it's always present on the surface of the works. Also those, the, the bubbles here are temporary installations. Uh, I love this idea of the bubbles. I used uh, many transparent materials during the time. Try to have a relationship with the ancient, the old architecture and something that's uh, a wonder. The, the guy uh, that helped me realizing the balls here, it, it's uh, specialized in mongolfiers. 
So it's always very funny because you go in a place, you discover something else, and probably the next project will be with Mongol fears. I mean, this is my first experiment in marble. And again, I'm trying to play with the, the matter in terms of uh, marble is a stone, marble is strong, marble has a long history in terms of uh, uh, structure. Uh, in that sense, I'm trying to play with the marble like uh, a chewing gum. And then also the, this, this, uh, these case, cases for living, uh, it's another chapter. Uh, small spaces, uh, uh, the, the title of this long series uh, that um, get uh, more or less 10 years is monologue patterns, uh, strutture di monologo, because I was trying to, um, to modify the, the small architectures in terms of uh, um, poetical feelings of the space. So many models, and then sometimes the models comes out like real pieces for large installations. And um, I start to work with architecture in 2002, 2003. Uh, so many models, many... This is a collection of trees drawn in 3D with these models uh, like uh, um, tree houses. I have a passion also for the botanical drawings. So for me, it was a mix between the two things. At the end, this photo assemblage, this is the 1995, my, my beginning, uh, all portraits played in very familiar places. From my first portraits, I start to, to make landscapes with pe real people that I was shooting around and models. So for a few years, I was playing with this kind of image and the rubber pieces. So it was very, very paradoxical because uh, <clears throat> you, you can't understand if uh, the, the people was in a real stage and what was the size, in a sense. I have to say that probably there is a narrative in, this, in these pictures. I mean, I was a bit like a director choosing a situation and telling uh, the first frame for a story. Probably I lost this kind of approach. From narrative, I went to science. And here, sometimes the colors. Here, I was playing with the caravans. In the meanwhile, I, did, I realized these uh, landscapes with spices and pure colors, like a painter. I love to use the colors just in some, <coughs> in some painting, in some, in some photographic image. Color is a field. I love to think color like a field and not like a, a material. In that sense, I love this uh, abstract painting from Rothko or, uh, I mean, the gold of the um, medieval paintings. In that sense, uh, I need to use the gray and the, the white uh, because um, you lose the sense of the uh, decoration of the color and uh, your attention is more on the um, model of the thing. At that time, for example, for these gray pieces, my idea was uh, the, the absence of color was related to, to also uh, the, the virtuality of the 3D manipulations. I mean, everything today from a chair to a phone to a pair of shoes is drawn in 3D in a virtual space and then it comes out. And pro uh, probably my mind, my, my, my head works uh, similarly to this because I, I need always to, to see the, the project in a screen, but then I have to go, go back to, to the reality. So also these pieces, for example, fragments of architecture and nature. Uh, the architecture is lost because it's completely transparent and uh, not completely because inside the, the polycarbonate there is a sort of prismatic film that gives you this uh, color reaction. All the spectrum of, of the colors, they have one here in the office and with the sunlight. is fantastic because uh, when the sunlight goes on this prismatic surface, 
the work is expanding in the, in the field of the ar architecture again. Here, for example, these paintings are made with uh, sand and pure um, pigments. And I was thinking to the history of painting. So the frescoes, uh, the frescoes are made with sand and uh, pure pigment. This is just another way to uh, put them in a sort of monochromatic field. The studio is absolutely is very important to test uh, uh, materials from a good piece of paper to the, 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 the worst one. I always want to be uh, an artist. I mean, from the beginning I was uh, probably, I did my first solo show paintings when I was 17. At that time I had my first studio. It was a garage for the, for the car, uh, rented. And uh, I didn't go to school just because I, I would like to paint at the time. I've been lucky because I met a lot of artists uh, older than me at the beginning and younger after. Uh, also today uh, in Berlin uh, I have an, as an art association, so I love to stay with artists, I love to speak uh, about language, about poetry, about uh, technical solution with artists. Have the opportunity to meet the older generations, it's been really uh, important to me. I'm very lucky. Okay. But I, I work a lot also. <laughs> okay. Thank you.